Hello my friends, my name is Wiedi and welcome back to Sonic Origins. We are currently trapped in where I can only assume a uh, warp ring is supposed to appear for a Super Emerald. And we are currently trapped here because I fell into the hole. And the only way out is for Teals to fly me up and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Because there's nowhere I can spin dash. There's nowhere I can fall through a floor. I'm relying on Teals here to get me out of this mess. And for this to not fall on me when I come up. Oh, come on. So we might be here a while. Ah, come on. There we go. Go, 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 go. Yes, I'm free. <laughs> I did it. It took way longer than it had any right to, but we're free. God damn. I don't know if that's a glitch. I don't know if that's a teal section. I don't know, but that's, that's not okay. <laughs> no idea what that's all about. Ho hopefully it's a teal section, but if it is, then like, why would they make it so that Sonic can access it? without a way to get out because if I wasn't playing if I was playing like Sonic Solo come on man if I was playing Sonic Solo right now could I fucking Jesus let me up please oh my god I've already had a bad time let me just continue there we go oh <laughs> oh this is going downhill fast oh, okay but yes if Sonic was playing Solo can he still get in there and if so is he just trapped because like what is the deal with that area I don't know but hopefully, we won't experience anything like that again. We'll just continue our way, mosey our way down here. Anyway, so we're on Act 1 of... ...of Lava Reef Zone, as you can see there. I suppose that's one way to get free. That put me back, like, five minutes. <gasps> oh! That's how I get up. It's a teal section. Okay, well, this is cool. It took me... It gave me another chance at this uh, warp ring that I never got last time. That's handy. All right, okay. I like it. Get the blue spheres. Okay, I'm gonna get these two right away. And yes, I do see exactly what I was talking about. Right in here is a big section of rings. That's what I was talking about. So hopefully we'll be able to blitz through it this time. And we won't panic. Right? No panic allowed this time. We can collect these, then bunch over here. Get the big section here. Nice. And then we're going to collect these ones here. Bounce back over. Oh, I nearly fucked it again. Okay. Panic has subsided. We're okay. And we are perfect. There we go. We got the emerald. After some trial and error there. <laughs> I say trial and error, I mean, I took two attempts or whatever. One attempt, two attempts before, like, on the last episode, but we got it now. It doesn't matter. We got the perfect, we got the coins. It's all good. And now we only have one emerald left to go. I almost timed that right. Almost. Ah, all right. We're back. Thanks, Seals. I appreciated that. A little bit of bonus by having the upgrades from the... the the new version is having Tails climb you into places you're not supposed to be able to reach the Sonic, so that's nice. But also, you know, the the opposite side of that coin is what just happened to me previously of being stuck in an area that was probably for Tails only, and I had to rely on him to get me out of it. On the plus side, though, being back here means I can go up and collect this shit again, because this was full of goodies up here last time. This 1-up slash coin respawns, which is interesting, so I guess you could just farm coins if you just keep dying, I guess? Because, like, maybe dying should cost you a coin. Like... As it sounds right now, you lose nothing, so maybe they should really make it punishing in that regard, because otherwise you could just farm coins if they're just going to respawn like that. Aha! No, I, I was about to say, no, I can just jump over these fireballs. I mean, I could normally anyway, it's just I'm doing a really piss poor job of it. Well, this time I aim to not get squished either, but when I last tried to say something, it spoke into existence, so let's not speak it into existence this time. This time we will go over the top. Of this shit. In fact, no, we can just spin dash. There we go. It's almost like that's the intended way. Any secrets? No. Alrighty then. But yeah, we never never managed to get through this stage last time. I try not to leave a stage unfinished before we move on, but we didn't really get much choice in the matter with this one. We were at 25 minutes almost. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. And I was just like, we're not getting out of here, out of that little 
section I was stuck in for quite some time, so we may as well. And I believe this is the boss fight because of, again, Mania rem reminding me how to get here. Oh, Teal's actually hit that. Damn, you can actually barely see the, the shots of the fireballs coming out because of um, the lava in the background. This is kind of like foreshadowing this, actually. This big hand. You'll see what I mean when we get towards the end of the playthrough. Or you probably already know because you've played the game before, but... Yeah, it's kind of interesting that. I'm just gonna let it slam down. There we go. And there we are. Not too difficult. Does this work? No. Alright, I thought I could like spin dash between them. That might just be a later thing. There we are. Got all that for one act. Whew. We're getting there. We are getting there. I told you this would be a long game. I don't know how many episodes we're through now. I know I had three recorded before today, and this is either episode three or four. I have lost track, honestly. I do like that the lava cools in, like, Lava Reef Act 2 sounds very cool. And you may realize that the music is actually rather familiar. Oh, I can't go back. I'm gonna go up. Now, if you recognize it, this is the music from the Emerald Altar, which, by the way, I forgot to mention the name of that area is Hidden Palace, just like the secret area in Sonic 2 that was brought back in uh, the Whitehead version. So, interesting stuff. Why did my... I, I don't know if you heard me, sp like, smash that button, uh, but I, I sma smashed the A button there for a boost here, and it just never came out the first time. There we go. And it never came out again there. There's probably to be an emerald around here somewhere that I can access. We only need one more. Oh, ah, oh, damn. Very, very rare item to find here, the robotic monitors, and they will just do damage to Sonic. Thankfully, we had a shield there, but annoying. I wanted to keep that fire shield. This is super handy for this stage. The level aesthetic is so cool, though, without the uh, lava. Like, it's cooled all, it's cold all over. Okay, I know I'm sort of backtracking a bit here, but I want to go up this route. Um, at first I thought there'd be an emerald up here, doesn't look like it. And now I'm just gonna go up this way. High route, baby. Oops. It's kind of unfair if you don't know where these are gonna be, because I sure as shit didn't. Ah, oh, it's just rings. We are so close to being done with the emeralds. They are much harder to get this time around. It is- I do like the extra challenge, and also just having an extra set to collect. Like, I don't think I'd want, like, 14 emeralds in every game. And, like, especially if it's not gonna be just, like, super emeralds, if it's just like, yeah, here's 14 chaos emeralds and then 14 time stones as well or something, for example. It's like, no. If you're gonna make me collect two sets of emeralds, they better be worth it. They better both pay towards the reward I'm gonna get. Uh, time stones did fucking nothing, so... They were really not worth it, other than the good ending. But at least they kind of have a purpose now. Not time stones, the emeralds are like a second run through of the emeralds. I'm gonna risk it again. I'm gonna check here. Nothing. Okay, more interesting 3D effects with layers. Ah, damn. Going a bit slower this time around. It's not as... I don't think this is as, as quickly designed as Mania's levels are. I know I keep comparing to Mania, but like... That's like my most recent point of reference is, is that game, and to me, again, like, that game is probably the best, like, classic series game now, um, rivaling Sonic 2 in my opinion. I don't know which I prefer. I think I say Mania these days, just because it's all new, and like, the zones are all, like, I pretty much like all the zones and how they're laid out and designed. Um, but yeah, I, th I think the Lava Reef in, in Mania is way better designed so far. Didn't get any cool shit out of that one, but let's continue on, shall we? Alright. Oh, I don't remember these. These were never brought back in Mania. I just don't remember these, period. Never mind. Uh, comparing it to another game. Alright, let me get that. Oh, what? Okay, can we find some goodies? I can't make it through this way. Is this a different... Okay, so maybe I'm supposed to come here after being somewhere else. Don't hit... Ah, come on. Damn shame. These bits of fire are really annoying. Like, it just forces you to slow down. Like, this level's also pretty cramped. Kind of like I was saying with, um... 
Sandopolis, but ugh. at least if I get hit, it should, it should launch me into the the uh, handle. But no. More rings. Damn it. Stop beating me with these walls. I want to find a big ring. Yes. Okay, here we go. Last emerald. Here we go. Oh yeah, I think this one's actually kind of easy. It's just big and open. There's not a lot of places to get hit, but because it's so big and open, it can be hard to keep track of where you have and haven't been, and therefore you can end up getting sped up quite substantially. Okay, so let's take this. We'll take this bouncy. Got another section of nine here. I will take any of these that I can, if it just means freeing up some space on the big map. Scared, scared, scared. I panic when they bounce me. Okay, nice. Big area. 16. 22 to go. Another one of those and a section of four is only 20, Adam. Well done. So where is it going to be? There's the section of four. So maybe another big section of 16 and then another section of four? No, because that's, that's only 18. I am unclear on how to count. Help me. I am man who don't know how to count. Oh god. The speed is increasing. I'm just gonna keep running. I'm sure I'll run into something eventually. Now I'm starting to get nervous because I'm just bouncing. Where am I going? Oh, there we go. Okay, so maybe it's two sections. Of yeah, it's two sections of nine. And I won't be able to finish it because I've... Ah, dumb. Dumb. I've, I've done fucked up. But at least we can finish it nice and easily if I can find the last section of nine. I just hope I don't go way too fast. I don't know where it is. And we're speeding up. There it is. Okay, sweet. Nice. That was actually kind of easy. Didn't get the perfect, but that's fine. So we managed to get through this whole game with perfects except for two super emeralds, which is not too bad, honestly, considering. Ah, but there we go. At long last, Sonic got all super emeralds. So this means, what happens when you get all the Chaos Emeralds? You get Super Sonic. So what happens when you get all the Super Emeralds? Now Sonic can be Hypersonic. This is another reason why this game is so beloved. The complete package, because Hypersonic is unique to this package. Hyper Knuckles is unique to this package. Super Teals was unique to this package. And apparently what I've heard is they've kind of retconned it where you can get Super Teals with the Chaos Emeralds and then Hyper Teals with the Flickies uh, with the Super Emeralds. Which is kind of annoying because there's another Game Apologies video talking about why Super Teals is important and how it shows like the importance of the character getting that power up after the Super Emeralds only and not the Chaos Emeralds. And now it's kind of been undone. But I suppose they just wanted to make it so that if you get the Chaos Emeralds, people didn't feel cheated out of a reward. Because in a way it became that... You know, Teals being the easy mode was actually like a hard mode because getting the Chaos Emeralds did nothing. You had to get Chaos and Super Emeralds before you got any sort of par up, so it made sense why they probably have updated it, but I like sort of going back to the lore reasons of why it's kind of a bummer. Let's get some special goodies here, and then we will trigger Hypersonic for the first time. Alright, oh, I picked up a bubble shield right at the end. Okay, let us begin. Seizure warning going forward. I don't think there is a, a chance of seizures with this because otherwise it wouldn't have ever been re-released, but um, just in case. Here we go. Look at this. I'm so glad to see this come back in HD. It's so cool. Now, again, seizure warning. Whenever you jump, you can press the A button again and press any directional button to do a dash in that direction. Like so but it also does a screen nuke. So that big flash on the screen will kill any enemy that's on screen. So let's see if I can demonstrate it here, uh, if I can find any enemies somewhere. But it's so good, like, using it as a, as a way to, like, boost yourself higher for more height and, like, speed. Oh, hi, Knuckles. Look what I just got. And I'm still getting pummeled by rocks. So yes, going forward, there's going to be a lot of screen flashing, so I hope you're aware of that. We're into the boss fight, actually, so I don't even get to... Oh, fuck. All right, well, we're just gonna do this. Now, annoyingly, again, we have, like, this really bad supersonic music, but, like, 
not really much we can do about that. But yes, I'm going to very happily use Hypersonic going forward for the rest of the game because this is what people want to see. This is what, you know, is one of the most exciting things is, again, with the Super Emeralds becoming canon because this is one package and not split up again. It kind of, you know, re... it kind of gives, like, Supersonic more value or Hypersonic more value than he used to be because they have discredited him for so long and now they're finally embracing it again. And hopefully that means there's going to be some interesting stories coming forward in the future with Ian Flynn and stuff. But uh, I guess that's only something we'll have to wait and see. Managed to snag an electric shield there, so I'm just going to go ahead and trigger it. <laughs> I absolutely flew there. Okay, well, no hypersonic for this fight. Um, that's a problem, because this is actually kind of a difficult fight. But if anything, it's kind of a good thing, because it forces me to actually fight it and show you guys how it's fought, which will be fun. Oh yeah, there's a little platforming section before we actually get to the bottom of this. So let's collect our shit. Ooh, actually, that'll be much bigger. Okay, so now we can just jump straight down. Yeah, this this fire shield is pretty necessary. You alright there, Tails? Tails? Okay. Alright, so we got Eggman in this little doohickey here. I believe the idea is just stand on these and then let the bombs hit him. So it's again another aspect of a, a boss where you don't actually fight him yourself. He fights himself. Which is kind of annoying. But it is still difficult because the bombs appear sort of randomly on the lava and then you got to precisely jump on each of these platforms if you don't have the fire shield that you collected on the way down here. But it's easy to lose, you know, you could jump into the bomb as it's coming down, but thankfully I'm not here. I do wonder if I could like spin dash into him, but I'm not gonna... I was about to risk it, but I just got stopped somehow. Maybe with the floor changing I got stopped on it, like, I don't know. It's also cool kind of how they change the sprites and stuff to like move the floor. I don't know, maybe it's easy. I don't know. I don't know how games work. God, this minute, this stage has taken us seven minutes. Ah, but yes, it's essentially another waiting boss. It's not super ideal. Like, I kind of prefer the bosses in Sonic 2. Like, you can actually blitz through them at a decent speed if you can hit them right. Ah, damn. I don't think I actually did damage to them with that spin dash. Oh yeah, I don't have a bubble shield anymore. Oh shit, I didn't even collect a ring there. Alright, well, we need to be done soon. No, I actually have to play it, and it's an instant death if I feel fuck it up. This is taking a lot of hits. There we go. Okay, I need the grind to cool over, please. There we go. Alright, we got through Act 2. So, what do we do now? And I don't know if you guys noticed, I forgot to point it out entirely. But the death egg was in the background of, uh, of this entire stage. I'll... Put up a, I'll put up a thing. Oh, hidden palace zone. We're here. Okay. I'll stop here. I'll put up a clip here of us going through the stage. You can notice in the background the death egg, which had crashed it, crashed into Angel Island again after we stopped it in Launch Base Zone. That's pretty cool. But yes, we are here in Angel, no, in hidden palace zone. I told you the music had been like sort of leading up to this moment the entire time, but now we're actually going through ourselves we're actually in the stage, it's not just a place we teleport to, which is, again, super cool that we can actually show up here and do things. Um, it's It just sort of adds, like, more mystery to the area and makes it an actual, like, location you can visit, which is cool. And I like that. So we're gonna plow through here. I'm trying to collect as many rings as I can, because I believe you can get hyper before you get there. Alright, any goodies over here? But it's all it's it's really cool. It's a it's a very unique area. Oh. Did they realize that this just takes you back outside? Did, like it feels like the stage kind of looped. Checkpoint. Oh, let's get some rings here. <laughs> if you want to give me a jackpot, now is the time. Gah, oh, god damn it. I got robbed. I don't know if I put the clips in, but I got robbed by Eggman like four times in there. It was ridiculous. Oh well. But here we are. It's the boss fight with Knuckles himself with the big mural above us that shows off Eggman's machine and Supersonic fighting him. Or maybe Hypersonic, it's kind of hard to say. Um, so yeah, we finally have the Knuckles showdown here. And this mural has so many implications and history behind it. It's, again, I refer you, for, I refer you to the Game Apologist video about this because it's, it's cool. You need to hear about it. But it also lends um, credibility as to why Knuckles might believe that we're after the Emerald, because you can see here Eggman sort of fighting Sonic, and after him showing up to be like, yes, this guy's coming to take it, here's me defending it. You know, I mean, maybe not, but like, yeah, you can see why Knuckles would fall for it. 
yeah, we get to fight Knuckles in our base form, which we've been fighting him this whole time. He beat us up in our super form, so it's kind of interesting. Ooh, Teal's got a weak cheeky hit in there. My music's gone. Music? Hello? You're defeating the epicness of this fight here. Oh, he can duck. Nice. I didn't know he could block. There we go. Why is he boy? Maybe I have to hit him with the insta shield, because that seems to be the only way I'm getting hits. There we go. Alright, Knuckles is defeated. At long last, we've shown what we're made of. And he's gone back to defend his emerald. Now he thinks that we're here to steal them. Even though the, the super emeralds have been restored. But at this point, now that he's been distracted by us, Eggman takes the master emerald. And Knuckles is having none of it. Now in our desperate moment, Knuckles is like, right, okay, so, evaluation time. Emerald's been taken. I have no choice but to trust you guys. Let's go. And he takes us to one final area of solace. But we will find out what that is right now. Okay, I thought I had to jump into it myself. He takes us to Sky Sanctuary Zone. which we will investigate next time. There's the death egg rising again. So we will see what happens next time. Thank you so much for watching my friends and I'll see you again then. Goodbye.